Hi, I'm John Storms, and today I am going to show you how we can take a MP3 file, do run it through Audacity to get uh, a label track, and then use that label track to create a sequence where every single note that plays in your song is represented in a sequence. And we're going to give each note its own channel. Now, if you're not a Lightorama user, this is also user for, useful for Xlights because it's super easy to import a Lightorama file into Xlights. So anyway, so we get started by having Audacity. Audacity is free software. It's used for uh, editing music. It's been around forever. Like I said, it's free and it's great. If uh, you don't have it, go to Google, search for Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. So I'm going to go to the file menu, select open, and then I have the, um, the soundtrack from, or the opening song from Beverly, or the main song from Beverly Hills uh, cop on here. So I'm going to open that up. And this works best with songs that are not, uh, they're kind of single threaded, right? So if you have a lot of layers, uh, it can get a little tricky. It works better for some songs than others. This song, it actually works pretty good. So I'm going to come in here. I do control all, right? It's control A uh, to select all. And then I go to the menu and I select analyze then polyphonic transcription. This runs for a while. It's, uh, it's a pretty heavy duty algorithm. And what it's doing is it's finding every single note in your song, figuring out which note it is, when does it start, when does it stop, and it's putting that into a new track that you can see below there um, that, uh, that it's creating. And that is a label track. So what we're gonna have here when it's done is a set of labels, see? So each one of these numbers you see is a note, right? It represents A flat or F sharp or whatever. And it also has when it started and when it stops. So we go up to the menu bar, we select file, export, export labels. Okay. And we're just going to call it polyphonic transcription. <coughs> Excuse me. We save that. And we're done here. So we close Audacity. Nope, don't need to save it. See that? And this is the file we created. So each line represents a note playing in the song. This is the start time, this is the stop time, and then this is the note. <coughs> so now we are gonna take that file and we are gonna convert it into a Lightorama sequence. In order to do that, we need a script. In order to run a script, you need to download Perl. Uh, my favorite is Active State Perl. It's free. It will run on Windows, Linux, or Mac. And uh, I've been using it for over a decade. Um, so you download it, you install it, and then you're, you're good to go. The next thing that you need is the script itself. So this is a script that I wrote. And this script takes the Audacity label file containing the polyphonic transcription labels and uses it to generate a Lightorama LMS file where every note is represented by a channel. This, is, this script is found on GitHub under JStorms for J, John Storms, and it's called Poly2LMS. And I will include the link um, in the description in the video. So you go to releases, and this is the first release of it. So grab the zip file, all right, it downloads it. You can see I've had multiple takes of this. I double click this, it opens up the zip file, and I just have this singular Perl script. So I just drag it over, and I stick it in the same directory as my label file and my MP3 file. So now I need to open up a command window. <coughs> Excuse me, all the coffee, I'm getting over a cold. So uh, to get to the command window in Windows, you press the Windows button on your keyboard. It pops up this familiar place. And then you type in CMD, right? Charlie, Mary, Delta. Hit enter, you have a command window. So now we use the old DOS commands to get us to where we want to go. So we got to get in the right directory. So first of all, we get to the root directory, CD backslash, and then we go to wherever you put your file. So I put mine in lower AW, and then I put it in a subdirectory called AAA. 
If I type dir, it shows the contents of the directory, and I can see everything I've downloaded up to now. Now, if you have installed Perl correctly, if you type in Perl minus V and hit enter, it will show you what version of Perl you have installed. If you do not see this, something did not go right with your installation, and you need to go troubleshoot that before you go any further. If you see this, though, you're good to go for the next step. So the next step, you type it, the name of the script, poly2lms. If you hit enter, it'll tell you how to use the command, right? So the first argument that it takes is the input file. It's that polyphonic transcription text file we created from Audacity. The second argument that we give it is the name of the file we want to create. Right, so this is going to be axlf.lms. So this is the name of the Lightrama file that's going to be created. So I hit enter, boom, that fast it's done. So now I go open up the sequence editor. I have Lightrama 4. I haven't updated it in quite a while because I don't use it for sequencing anymore, but it's still handy for stuff like this. So now I go find that directory, the AAA directory, I find my LMS file, open it, and voila. Let me shrink down, see down here on the left, these are all the different notes that it found in that file. And it has converted them to their actual note names. Let me compress the lines. And then every time the note has fired, it does a fade out, okay? Now, the problem is, that the way it is now, if I play this, you won't hear anything, see, because it doesn't know where the audio file is. So we go up here to Edit, Media File, and we go find our MP3 file that we originally loaded into Audacity. See? And now we are done. And I have another video where we actually play, uh, play the music. Um, so here... Uh, why, how is this useful? Okay, so if you're using Lightarama, first of all, the timing track itself is useful. This is an accurate timing track. Um, it does a really good job of hitting the notes. That alone could be very, very useful to you in your sequencing. <clears throat> the other part is, is you can actually take the sequencing data, right? You can copy and paste the ones that look useful to you, and you can copy those uh, into your own sequence. Um, now, if you are an x -Lights user, uh, what you do is you create your XLite sequence using the same MP3 file, and then you import data, and you can map each one of these channels to something in your show. So this is how I use it. So each note gets represented on a snowflake, and I can very quickly import this, and it has a, a really cool effect. And then I go in and add to it. So anyway, um, that is how we do polyphonic transcription to a Lightarama file. That's it.